Hello, McDaniel Army, and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you could see, like my fiance was over there messing with the window. We had that AC thing in our window, and as he was trying to pull it out or whatever, the glass like shattered. So our landlord wants us to like. But how take are you? Out. How are you gonna do that if there's no way to get it out? I don't know. He wants us to take the window pane or whatever out so he can replace it. Also, this light that I've been using, since I don't have a ring light, um, I went to go like move the there's lamps no way to move or whatever. It. I'll show you guys. Where is he? Oh, hey, little friend. I tried to like move the um, lamp things that I use, and I this so is no what happened. Right okay, so I was trying to like move these, right, to face me or whatever. And you guys, I don't know. You have your phone flashlight? Mm, let me check on it. A freaking spider! Oh my Ooh. gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to like show you. Yeah. So That's not going to be able to come out. Unless if, we destroy the window frame. I'm not trying to do that. Yeah. If any of you guys have like arachnophobia or whatever that fear of spiders is, don't watch that previous clip or whatever. Um, so yeah. Also, I might have another video coming out as well as this one that I'm pr currently recording. But I asked like all my friends, family, supporters, whatever, um, what a mentor is, mentor is, and I got great um, like answers back. But I'm having the issue with iMovie. iMovie is they're like very picky of the way that you like place photos or videos. So what I might do is I might write everybody's um, answers down on like a piece of paper or whatever, and then take a picture of it with my phone. That way um, I can just like put them all into like one video. Um, and then I'm trying to not to like put people's names in there because some of them are from like Facebook or whatever and they're friends of my fiance's aunt so um i don't want to like <laughs> put random people's names out there like that um they're all fine with me using their answers i was inspired to do the mentor thing from my fiance's aunt she posted a status um saying like what do you think a mentor is or whatever and i did message her and was like hey, you inspired me to make a video about this. So I got some responses on Snapchat, um, some responses on Facebook, and then I don't think I got any on Instagram. But if I did, then I'll have to like go check it out or whatever because I did put one of those like stickers on my Instagram story and saying like, what do you think a mentor is? But like half the time I do that, people just want to like send me things that like they want to collab with or whatever. So I don't think a whole lot of people like understand that little sticker thing or whatever. Also, I'm so excited, right? So I've been talking about um, getting the GoPro Hero 8 because currently I'm using the GoPro Hero 7 for my videos. Um, I absolutely love, 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 love the GoPros. Um, They're just so small and compact and do so much. Um, but... The GoPro Hero 9 was just released yesterday, which was September 16th, 2020. I am so excited because it finally has a front LCD screen that you can see yourself being recorded instead of doing it like the way that I do it. Because like when you have the GoPro, you have the GoPro app and then you can like um, connect your GoPro to the phone or whatever how it works. And then the GoPro app, it has like your cam, the picture of your camera and you can tap it and then you can like see it. So I basically use my phone as the like LCD screen, which is kind of funny because in one of my videos, um, I was like, GoPro really needs to come out with a GoPro that has the front LCD screen that you can see yourself being recorded and literally like two weeks after or whenever I posted that video saying that it comes out 
And I watch This Is How We Bingham right here on YouTube. So if you guys are seeing this, I absolutely love you guys. I'm not like that big of a YouTuber yet, but um, I'm working on it. And I get some great ideas from like you guys because you guys are known as the GoPro family. Um, but they got sent the GoPro Hero 9 like a week early or whatever. And they recorded the video of them using the GoPro Hero 9 and then released that video. Okay, anyways, sorry if I said, why is this not working? Um, I was tapping my button to record again. So as I was saying in the last clip before my GoPro rudely stopped, um, I think it's because there's so many like new GoPros out that it's like having functional issues or whatever. I don't know, this is how we bingo. If you see this video, I would definitely post like your information down in the description box and maybe like title it, this is how we bingo or whatever, something so they could see it. Cause that would mean the world to me. So anyways, as I was saying, they, um, this is how we bingo, uh, got sent the GoPro Hero 9 like a week earlier or something and they recorded their video and then um, they released it yesterday since yesterday was the release date of the GoPro Hero 9 and you guys I like need it now so GoPro if you're watching this I absolutely love you guys um, I would like die if you sent me the GoPro Hero 9 like tomorrow <laughs> I'm just saying because I, this is my first GoPro, the Hero 7. Um, I bought it because uh, my fiance and I went on vacation last year in 2019 and I was going to like start YouTube, like start vlogging or whatever because that's like what most people do is they vlog their like vacations and stuff. But um, we just kind of wanted to like spend time with each other and like just family or whatever. Um, and then like before you knew it, we were going home. So, and I made like a bunch of TikToks and whatever. And I'm sorry for the background noise. Our dog is barking downstairs there. And if you see me, like if you see the floor shaking or whatever, that's because they're still working on a road. Um, it's supposed to be done by next month. And today is the 17th of September in 2020. Um, and I think my fiance is like playing the guitar downstairs as well. So that kind of like makes her crazy. She's a German Shepherd Husky mix, if you guys didn't know. So those are like the two smartest breeds mixed together. And then um, they're like so honorary too. Like they like to back talk you and everything, but we love her to death. Um, <clears throat> and she just turned a year. We think we got her like a little bit younger than what the breeder that we got her from said she was. Um, yeah, so anyways, a lot has gone on today. Today is Thursday, September 17th, 2020. Um, if I haven't said that enough already in this video, but um, I ended up going to, okay, so I ended up missing work yesterday because I had the worst massive migraine ever. Um, and so I ended up taking like Advil or whatever to help my headache and then I went back to sleep and so I, I had a, I have usually start work at like 5 a.m. so I ended up calling out at like 3 30 in the morning yeah like the worst time to call out too um and then I ended up taking the Advil and I think I sat there for like an like 45 minutes to an hour or whatever kind of let the Advil like kick into my system and roll back over and fell asleep and then I got up at like I want to say like 10 maybe a little bit earlier I don't know my body is weird you guys like this whole year is so messed up 2020 is messed up guys 2020 is messed up it has messed everybody up the whole world um, I haven't had a good sleep schedule probably since last year in like October. So let's see, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. 11 months I haven't had a good sleep schedule. So yeah, and it's been like the worst like nine months, 10 months going. <sighs> 
so much has been going on in this world in 2020. So much has been going on in just life in general. Um, also, I had to take my car into the shop today. Um, we took it to the shop. Oh, what day was it? Because I think I had to work. I think we took it Monday to the shop. Yeah, because I had to make the appointment. So Monday, um, so today's the 17th, yesterday was the 16th, 15th. So Monday, September 14th, 2020, we ended up taking the car to the Toyota Honda dealership here in town. And whoa, that was really weird. Okay, um, the camera must like screenshot something or whatever. Um, but there was just like a white blur that just like totally came onto my screen or whatever. So maybe it takes screenshots or whatever for your, oh, why can't I think of this every time your, um, picture that they do for YouTube. That's probably how they choose it on YouTube. So anyways, we ended up taking the car in on Monday, September 14th, 2020 and told them my car was, or like the car was rattling so bad and then it started to shake and I was like, oh great, here we go. Here's the, here we go with the car issue. It's gonna be so expensive. You know, like us adults, we always like freak out to the max. And so um, we ended up making the appointment for today at two o'clock because today's one of my days off. Yesterday I was supposed to be at work at five to two, but I had the worst migraine ever if I didn't say that already. Um, but I think I did. So we took in, so I ended up going to bed last night again at like 10.45 and slept till about 10.30 this morning, uh, almost 11 o'clock this morning. And then got up and we got ready at about uh, like one something. Sorry, I'm trying to listen to what the TV or whatever is going on downstairs. And then our landlord came over and caused issues. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I am so ready to move. So ready to move. But that's going to take time. Um, God has plans for us to be here right now. So that's what we're going to do. Um... And then we ended up leaving a little bit earlier because I was like, we don't have to leave till like 1.45 because the appointment wasn't until 2. So we ended up leaving at like 1.20 and then got down to the dealership and just sat there for like 20 minutes. And then they did the diagnostic test. The way the guy came in, he was like, okay, so. And like my fiance and I both like looked at each other and kind of like freaked out. And all that needed to be done was my oil needed to be changed, guys. My car was making, or the car, our car, you know, whatever. You get what I'm saying, was making this horrible rattling noise and shaking all because my oil needed to be changed. Now, I don't know much about cars. My fiance does, but I don't know much about cars. But he called me. He was like, it's probably just your oil. That needed to be changed. And if I let it go a little bit longer, then it probably would have been like a more worse situation. Um, but it wasn't. So thank God. Um, so we got that taken care of. We got my oil changed today in the car. Um, which is awesome. And now it's not rattling as much or whatever. But I guess we should just like watch it and listen a little bit just to be safe. Um, because the receipt did say that it might be like some internal damage or whatever, but it sounds good. You know, today was the day that I got my oil changed in the car. Um, I haven't had it done since last summer. So yeah, that's kind of bad on me, but I'm going to start taking better care of the car because we definitely need it. Um, otherwise I would be screwed to get to work. I would have to take the bus and I don't have money like that. And I'm not about to get a ride from one of my coworkers because I'm not trying to get sick. And I'm not about to walk, um, 
like 16, 20 blocks to be at work by 5 a.m. Sorry, but that's not gonna happen. So, yeah. Yeah, and I, and we have a 2020, or not 2020, sorry. It is 2020, but we have a 2012 Nissan Versa. So, yeah. And the car is so ghetto, like, I don't even have a beeper thing. You literally have, um, like, you know how, like, cars that have four doors usually have the key lock on all, all four doors? Nope. Not for this car. The, the key lock thing is just on the driver door. And then, so you have to, like, unlock it from my side only. And then... Um, you have to like get in the car and you have to unlock the doors by hand and then my windows to roll them down I have the cranks and people are like that's really weird for a 2012 model I was like yeah but it was I think it was a used car or whatever something like that we traded my um, uh, Toyota Camry in for this Nissan Versa and I found out about it through an old friend of mine because she was driving her like mom's old car or something and then tra they traded that in and got her a newer Nissan. So we were both driving Nissans. So that's why I drive a Nissan. But I wish I had a Toyota because literally like my whole family drove Toyotas and then I was like the odd one out. I've always been the odd one out, but that's okay. Um, I like this car, but i rather have automatic locks and I want to get like a push to start and you know like the push to start cars you can um like start your car you know okay I don't know what's going on with this camera but I'm gonna like finish up this video because it literally stopped two times already so like you know with like push to start cars sorry my eyeball is like really itchy um with push to start cars you can start your car from the inside of your house to get warm or whatever because you know I've told you guys multiple times it snows pretty much six months out of the year here um so that would be helpful but um my fiance and I have been talking a lot lately and we want to end up moving but I think we're planning on starting to save for a new car um even though my car only has 60,000 miles I just want a better car like I eventually want to get a Tesla, so Tesla, if you're watching this, I love you guys. Um, I would love to test drive one of your cars or even get one for free um, to review, <laughs> um, and then it'd be mine forever, but if I had a Tesla, we wouldn't be li living here. Sorry, but this is not a state and a county to have a nice car like a Tesla. There is one Tesla in our town, and I'm like, why? Out of all places, why? Like, you need to have those types of cars back home where we're from on the East Coast. Because the East Coast has so much more money and probably has, like, a lot of areas to, like, charge up your car and whatever else. So, yeah. I just don't want to deal with getting oil changes and having issues with cars. Like, I know Teslas are all, like, um, electronic and they probably have more issues than regular cars, but... <sighs> oh my gosh. Adulting sucks, you guys. Don't ever say, if you're a child, like, watching my channel, don't ever be in a rush to grow up because it's hard. And I'm just going to be straight up blunt, flat out with you guys. It is hard to be an adult. Like, I wish I could just go back to my childhood, even though some parts of my childhood weren't the best, but you learn and you grow, and yeah, don't ever be in a rush to be an adult. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay. So anyways, this, top, this video is like so many different topics, but I'm going to... I don't know whichever way to I'm going to go but before I go make sure you smash that like button subscribe 
turn on the post notification bell to all so you can be notified every single time I post a brand new video. Share it and comment down below and I will see you all lovely people in the next video. <laughs> okay, I love you guys so much and peace.